All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another Wednesday with me. And uh, if you can hear me, please say okay in the chat box so that uh, so that I know that everything's fine. Um, I don't know why I can hear my voice. It sounds like the speakers are bringing up my voice in here. Not sure. So can you guys hear me? All right, you guys are saying yes, 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 yes. Nice. All right, so uh, hello and welcome. My name is Karim, and you are watching me on the awesome Smart English channel. And a big shout out to all the awesome people in the chat. I see that a lot of you are in the chat today. And I was almost, almost, but I wasn't. I was almost late today because um, I finished. Uh, I finished my. Uh, I just finished my college class, and it was uh, it was a longer class than I expected it to be. But I made it on time, so everything is good. I see a lot of people in the chat, so thank you everybody for coming today. I'll give a quick shout out to some of you. We have Manel, hello Manel. Julian of course is here, and Julian is the person that made the awesome song that we were listening to just before I started. Um, his band I think is called Dead Tubi, which I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool and I like it. And, uh, and that was the song Come Close with Julian on the vocals. So thank you very much Julian for allowing us to play your song and for sharing it with us. We appreciate that a lot. Uh, we have Sumika, we have JJ Doctor, Atman. Ooh, there's a lot of new names today that I haven't seen before. So uh, thank you for coming, guys, and welcome to the class. I appreciate it a lot. El Musawi is also here. Paolo is here. Ronaldo is here. Of course, Julian, I said, and I think I saw. Yes, Jacqueline is here. Hashim is here. Marvin, Raj, Jenny. Uh, there are so many new people today, which is uh, which is awesome. I get excited when there's new people to the class, which is uh, which is nice. Um, who else do we have? Gertrudis, of course, is here. Selma is here. Bruno is also here. Hello, Bruno, and thank you for coming. Ah, uh, lots of people today. Lots of people today, which is good, 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 good. Mahmoud is here, and where is uh, where is Rosa? I don't see Rosa in the chat today. Ah, there she is. Rosa's in the chat. Hello, Rosa. The, my, one of my usual suspects, of course. And Summer is in the chat. Summer, the undefeated reigning champion of Movie Quote in the week. Ten weeks in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Ten weeks in a row. It's outstanding. Um, Summer's been killing it. She's been crushing the Movie Quote of the week since I started. Well, not since I started it. She took the title off from Julian, and he's not very happy about that. Um, we have Sarah. Hello, Sarah. We have woo-woo. Woo-woo. I think, I think that's how you say that. It's W-O-W-U. Wa-woo. Or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm killing your name. Um, Stefan is here. Hello, Stefan. Haven't seen you before. Gosea is also here. Duty 21. Selma. Uh, there are so many people today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to shout out everyone here. And Alessandra. Hello, Alessandra. And welcome to the, welcome to the class. So, like, uh, oh, Jose, Jose is here too. Hi, Jose, thank you for coming. All right, so today is Wednesday, and it's, uh, it's February the 14th. Yes, it's Valentine's Day, and, uh, and I'm giving you guys a lesson on Valentine's Day. Um, so happy Valentine's Day, wherever you are in the world. I hope, uh, I hope you guys have a nice day today. Um, yeah, it's Valentine's Day. I never actually thought, uh, I never thought, I, I only realized that, uh, that my stream was going to be on Valentine's today, like literally about 10 minutes ago. Um, happy, yeah, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yes, thank you, th thank you. Um, even though I am not going out anywhere today, because, because, because reasons. <laughs> All right, so let me do my uh, let me do my intro, and then uh, we'll get into today's lesson, and hopefully uh, we'll have a lot of fun. So you guys, as usual, know. Let me just go a little bit small over here. Boom, like that. So you're watching me on the awesome Smart English channel. If you have not subscribed yet to this channel, you should. You definitely should because it's awesome. Smart English is a fantastic place. Um, and everybody here is awesome, and I love uh, I love this channel, and I'm uh, and, uh, and I'm very happy to be a part of it. So please, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the the bell button so you get notifications about our new videos that are coming up. If you go all the way down, remember Kent and I are currently teaching, but all the classes that we've had previously before are also on Smart. 
So some of you sometimes, because I noticed in the, uh, in the chat, some of you asked me specific questions about specific topics um, or something like that. Um, you can just find these videos. So you'll probably find something that one of our other awesome teachers has, uh, has taught before. So you can go and check out Nicole, you can check out Neil, you can check out some of um, Josh, um, Josh's uploads, some of Sean's old uploads, whatever really you want. And uh, of course, Kent and I at the moment are still doing this on a weekly basis. And uh, hopefully, if we find any, um, any new teachers, we'll be adding that. So don't forget, please subscribe over there. You can also subscribe to my Smart English with Kareem channel, which uh, you guys have been doing. So thank you very, very much for that. Um, I don't usually put a lot of like heavy English lessons on there. It's usually videos that are much shorter um, and more fun, hopefully, right? They're short videos and I try to make them fun. That doesn't mean they are fun, but I try to make them fun. So <laughs> come and check me out over there too. Also, if you're interested, I have my own personal channel. It's called Food AF. So it's not English. I don't really teach English on that channel. But I talk in English, so you can come and watch me talk in my normal voice instead of my teacher's voice. And, uh, and you can sort of just see me how I talk naturally. So you can practice listening, and uh, you'll learn how to cook a few things. So come and watch me over there. I'll really appreciate that, too. Facebook, uh, Selma's asking, what about Sean? I have no idea what about Sean, Selma. I really, really don't know. Sean is a busy, busy man. And uh, you can find Sean on Facebook. You should try. You should try asking him. I can't. Uh, I can't really talk for Sean to be honest. So I'm sorry about that. But I do know that Sean is. Uh, Sean's just super busy these days. Um, don't forget, we also have a group on Facebook that you guys can check out. It's called Learn English on Facebook with Smart. Really nice group. We have almost 25,000 people in there. You can ask most of the questions that you ask me on, uh, on the YouTube over here, and uh, you'll find a lot of people that are willing to help and to answer, and I also answer whenever I, have, um, whenever I also have time. Selma says, just say hi to him. Okay, Selma, I will. I promise you that I will, I, will, I, will, I will make a point to go to Sean and say that Selma says hi, right? I promise I'm gonna do that uh, today or tomorrow, but I promise I will. I'll say hi to Sean for you. So, uh, so come and join us over there, please. Um, it's a fun group, and uh, and we we like to help each other a lot. So it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool. Um, El Musawi, sorry Musawi, I'm only going to answer questions that are related to the topic that I'm teaching at today. Like I said, if you want specific things for specific topics, you can post your question right here on the uh, on the Facebook group, um, and I'll be happy to answer it for you. Or you'll find some other people that will help you with the answer. But usually, I like to stick to the points that I'm going to be talking about in the lesson, so that I don't mix. Uh, so I don't mix anything. Amanda just uh, came in and saying hello. Hello, Amanda. Thank you for coming to the class. We appreciate it. And if you guys don't know yet, of course, we also have the Discord page. So just go to Discord and look for Smart. Or if you want, I'll actually. Where is it? It should be on the main page here. So. Um, if you guys are already part of the Facebook group, you can get the, the, the link to our Discord channel. So you guys can chat with us on Discord, or you can even chat with each other. And you can chat using your voice so you guys can, uh, can practice. So I'll put, the link, uh, I'll put the link for you in, uh, in the chat if you, uh, if you don't uh, know about it or you haven't joined us over there yet. Right? So just click that link. It'll take you to Discord. You can set up an account. It's totally free, and, um, and it's awesome. We, uh, we chat with each other and we talk and everything. So you can see Julian here sharing, uh, sharing his channel and the things that he does uh, with us. OK, so what are we doing today? Some of you are asking already. So like I said last week, um, this is part of a three-part lesson. So last week, I talked about some verb patterns. And we focused mainly on gerunds. So we talked a lot about gerunds last week. And today, we are going to continue. So today, we're going to be talking about verb patterns again. But this is the second lesson in verb patterns on SMART. And remember, this is SMART level 120, which is sort of the intermediate level, right? Somewhere in the intermediate-ish area. So verb patterns, too. We're going to be talking about um, more verb patterns. So we talked about gerunds. We're going to be adding some more information to that today. But of course, excuse me. Before we do that, let us announce who is the winner of last week's movie quote of the week. 
And I'm sure if you've been following, <laughs> if you've been watching this class for any time, you should know that it's probably the same person, right? So let's uh, let's see where last week's lesson is is this one. <laughs> Julian is like, no, don't show it. Don't show it. Julian's been trying to win for 10 weeks now, but you guys know Summer is the reigning champion, right? So I'll sort this by newest first, and you can see the first answer is Summer, right? So Summer is the winner again. And you can see that there's 14 replies there, so Julian was going back and forth. <laughs> he was not very happy to, to lose again to Summer. But yes, yeah, Summer, you are the reigning champion. Virtual high five to Summer, everybody. Good job, again. Um, and let's see if uh, let's see if Summer's going to uh, let's see if Summer's going to win again for week number eleven in a row, eleventh week in a row. Summer, it's unbelievable. Yes, high five. I know, high five, Summer, to you. So this was the movie quote from last week. Hey Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to eighty-eight. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. And then he puts on uh, he puts on these funky sunglasses from the future. And of course, like Summer, as you guys saw, this is from the classic classic movie, Back to the Future. But this was part two, right? So this was Back to the Future two, and Summer got the movie quote of the week as usual again, right? So congratulations for Summer, and. I would love it if somebody can just beat her. Not because I don't want Summer to win, but you know, because it's, it, it looks like it's impossible to do now. So I'll be, very, I'll be very shocked if somebody can actually do the impossible and win or beat Summer at Movie Quote of the Week. Um, so all right. Let's get back to this. All right, so we don't need this anymore. I'm gonna delete that. And ladies and gentlemen, let us start. So let's start with today's lesson. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that I don't want you to win, Summer. I'm just saying I'm just saying you're winning so much that it has become uh, it's become normal now, right? Like I, I just out of curiosity, I want to see if somebody can or has the ability to uh, to beat you. Uh, the screen is not in focus and it's not clear. Mm -mm -mm. What do you mean, Jacqueline? What's not clear? Um, me? My face is not clear or the actual screen itself is not clear? I think it's clear. It looks clear in my preview. Um, yeah, it looks it looks fine. It looks it looks clear in my uh, in my preview, uh, Jacqueline. I'm not sure what's wrong. Maybe maybe you're just having some issues with your uh, with your connection. Um, but yeah, it looks it looks it looks fine. And everybody else is saying that it's fine. So it's probably with your connection, Jacqueline. Just try refreshing or um, or something like that. All right, so let's start. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but today I have a new hat. Finally. I have a new hat. I actually bought two new hats, and uh, so this is one of them. So I'm very excited about that. Finally, I got a new hat after about two years, three years, wearing the same hat, something like that. All right, everybody's saying it's clear, so let's begin. All right, so verb patterns two. Um, I'm just very... I'm just going to very, very quickly, right, just give a very quick recap, right? So just remember, what is a gerund, right, just in case we see it today. So gerunds, like we said last week, they're verbs that end in ing. And the whole point of a gerund is that we use it as a noun, right? Or the gerund acts or it functions. Um, it's used as a noun, right? So you'll find it usually. Um, there's music. Why is there music? Ah, uh, from here. Okay, there we go. This video is playing in the background. Let me stop that. There we go. So usually you would find them in, um, in a sentence where we might use a noun. So that's basically what a gerund was, right? And then we talked about some, some rules, right? The subject of the sentence is usually a noun. So it makes sense that you can put a gerund instead of the noun. And most of you did very well last week on the on the gerund stuff. 
So let's continue today, right? So verb patterns number two. So let's talk about a verb plus the infinitive, or what we call the infinitive in English. So let's take a look at the explanation here. So what does this say? It says another verb pattern in English is to, right? So the word to plus the base form of a verb. So what does it mean when uh, what does it mean when uh, when we say the base form of the verb? Base form of the verb just very simply means the original verb, right? So without changing it. So uh, not the past tense, not the past participle, nothing like that, right? Just the original verb, right? So for example, a verb like walk, eat, sleep, run, jump, swim, right? Anything like that, right? So the base for form of the verb. Or yes, like some of you, I, I know some of you are taught um, the verbs in columns, right? Or in numbers, so column one, column two, and column three, or like, um, like Arij is saying here, verb one. Um, so yes, whatever way that you understand what I mean by the base form of the verb, that is what we mean, right? So the base form of the verb, or the BFV, as, uh, as some of us write it sometime on the board just to make it shorter, right? So one more time, a verb plus the infinitive. So what do I mean when I say the infinitive? The infinitive is when you say the word to plus the base form of the verb. So for example, Let's, um, let's, the music is playing. Somebody keeps saying that the music is playing. I, I think I turned it off. I don't see any music playing anywhere. Nope. It's probably a delay maybe from, uh, from your side, Gertrudis. I think it's probably a delay because I am sure now that there's no music playing anywhere. I turned it, uh, I turned it all off. Okay. So let's take a look at some examples. She has to go home soon. She has to go home soon, right? So to go, this is basically what we call the infinitive, right? So she has to, right? So remember, we, what is the infinitive? It's to plus the, the original verb, the base form of the verb, or verb one, as some of you are saying in the chat, right? So she has, there's to, and there is my base form of the verb go. I don't need to talk to him right now. I don't need to talk to him right now. Same thing again, to plus the original verb talk. What would you like to do? What would you like to do? So same thing again, right? Very straightforward. The infinitive is very simply to, well, not the number two, but you know what I mean, the word to, plus the original verb. Oh, Pilar is here. Hello, Pilar. Thank you for coming to the class. I have to call. Uh, yes, Gosia, that is, uh, that is an infinitive. I would like to beat summer. Yes, Julian, that's a great example. Yes, I would like to beat summer. Um, oh, don't worry about it, Pilar, you're not so late, right? You, you, you came just about a minute or two after I started, right? I was doing my introduction and all the, and saying hi to everybody in the chat before, uh, before you came. I want to cook dinner. Yes, duty, very good. That's also a very good example. You guys are getting it. Hello, Layla. Thank you for coming to the class. It's nice to have you here. I would like to write a poem. Yes, that's also a good example. All right, now let's take a look at some verbs that uh, are very commonly used, right? Or it's very, um, or they're used often with the infinitive. So you can look at the list. So for example, to agree, to ask, to choose, to decide, to expect, to fail, to have, to hope, to intend, to learn, to need, to offer, to plan, to pretend, to promise, to refuse, to want. Um, would like, of course, would like, you're not gonna say to would like, it's, it's, it comes after it. For example, I would like to go to Spain, for example, or anything like that. Um, oh, Bisma, hello, Bisma, thank you for coming. He is going to have dinner. Yes, Bisma, that is a good sentence. I intend to go to Petra. Very good, Tamim. Um, yes, all of you guys are, are, are nailing it. Very good, you're giving me very good examples here and you're using the words that I just put on screen, which is nice, very good. And here are some examples, right? So I promised to call you tonight. He doesn't expect to have enough time. She decided to stay home. We hope to see you soon. 
I would like to start something new. Yes, Arij, very good, right? So this is how you use this one. That's how you use would like, right? Remember, to comes after. So not before in this case, it comes after. I would like to blah, 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 blah. Whatever you want to say after that. Very nice. <laughs> You know, let's see, do you guys know who says, uh, who says uh, it's a nice, like that? So uh, that, that, that's another voice that I, like, uh, that I like to make. If you know what the answer is in the middle, um, Stefan says, Kareem, can you turn off your air conditioning? I don't have air conditioning, Stefan, or there's, there's no button for it in this room. <laughs> I want to go, I want to go to university, yes. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, JB! Hello, JB. Very nice to see you. I haven't seen JB in a long time. I've, uh, yeah, it's good to see you, JB. Thanks for coming back. Oh, and Ottoman is here. Hello, Ottoman. Lots of people that I haven't seen in a long time are coming back. It's nice to see you guys. Thank you for coming. I try to not look. I try not to look. All right. So usually, not goes before the infinitive in the negative form, right? So for example, I promise not to do that again, right? It doesn't go after. We don't say I promise to do not that again. That just, it's, it sounds very bad, right? So I promise not to do that again. We decided not to go away this year. The dog must learn not to bite people, right? So that's it. It's very simple, right? The negative, when you want to put not, usually not, is um, before the infinitive in your sentence. I decided to go to a party, I would say duty, right? You need the preposition to. I decided to go to a party. Um, and if you want to make that negative, we would say I decided not to go to the party. Uh, I would like to agree. Um, yeah, Julian, you can say that. I would like to agree, but I would say with. I would like to agree with Trump. I've decided not to cook today. Very good, go see ya. I decided not to go to a party. Yes, that's how you do the negative duty. Very good. You guys are getting it. Very nice. I am not willing to start a new party. Did, uh, did you guys see this? So this is, um, McDonald's has that $1 any size coffee that you want. So, um, so yeah, so I got an extra large coffee for $1, which is not a bad deal. It's pretty good. I am not willing to start a new project. Yes, very good. I am related to Jimmy Carter, by the way. I'm related to Jimmy Carter, by the way. I'm related. Oh, you're using, uh, no, that's not. Is that just a statement, Julian, or are you trying to use the infinitive in some way? I decided not to drive today. Uh, what coffee is this? Oh, JB, this is just coffee from um, McDonald's. Or, uh, or as we say, it's from Mickey D's. Coffee from Mickey D's. Yeah, I know, right? It's great. So McDonald's does this every few months where they have this promotion, right? Um, and they basically sell any size coffee that you want. So small all the way up to extra large, which is this. And it's, uh, it's only a dollar. So I always wait for that promotion and then uh, I, I, I make sure that I go every day on the way to work. Uh, Wawu says, my name is Musab. Oh, hello Musab. I don't expect me to remember that though, right? So it, it helps if your name is on, is on, <laughs> is on your handle, but uh, I'll try my best to not forget. Uh, my name is, can I say, I like to help people. Yes, you can. I like to help. Yes, you can. You definitely can, Leila. That's a, that's a very good sentence. Uh, 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 uh. My mother promised, promised, it's, that promise should be in the past tense duty. So my mother promised not to talk with my father. Yes. Stefan Gorza says they want you to be addicted to coffee. Honestly, Stefan, I've been addicted to coffee way longer than, uh, than, uh, than McDonald's, uh, or way, way before I started to actually buy it from McDonald's. So I already had that problem. 
All right, so let's carry on, right? All of you are getting the infinitive, which is uh, great, and all of you are uh, also getting how to put not and make it into a negative, which is nice. So let's carry on. JB says, I'm a newcomer to coffee drinking. Oh, JB, I am OG. I am very OG uh, in coffee drinking. All right, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's carry on, you guys. Let's see what's going on. Oh, by the way, nobody guessed it correctly, by the way, until now. It's a nice. Nobody guessed where, 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 where it's a nice is, uh, is from. Some, I think somebody said CNN or something like that. That's, that's, that's not it. This is also from a movie, by the way. It's a nice. <laughs> All right, so let's carry on. OK, now let's talk about verbs plus infinitives or a gerund actually equal the same meaning. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that. <coughs> so remember again, what are we saying? We're saying that the verb plus the infinitive or a verb plus a gerund, basically you're saying the same thing. Okay, so the verbs below can be followed by gerunds or by infinitives and there is no difference. So this is the main point here, right? So remember, a verb plus a gerund or a verb plus the infinitive, there's no difference in meaning between the two grammar forms, right? You're, you're saying the same thing, you're just saying it in a different way, right? So let's take a look at what these verbs are. So begin, continue, hate, like, love, prefer, and start. So let's take a look, right? So we're going to take a look at both ways. We're going to look at the verb plus the gerund, and we're going to look at the verb plus the infinitive. Um, Arij is asking which form is better. And honestly, Arij, it's not which one is better. It's just think of it as you have options, right? So think of it as, hey, you can say something instead of just always the same way, you can use the other way to say the same thing. I wouldn't say that anyone is really better than the other, right? It's just, it's just a different way of saying the same thing. Okay. <clears throat> so let's take a look at some examples, right? So, I don't really like cooking. I don't really like cooking. So this is normal. It's a very normal sentence. Most of you should know this from last week's lesson when we were talking about gerunds. So you should have no problem with this sentence. I don't really like cooking. Now. I can say the same thing this way. I don't really like to cook. I don't really like to cook. You are saying exactly the same thing. There is no difference in, in, in the meaning of this sentence, right? So here you're talking about what? I don't really like cooking. And the meaning, the sense of, the, of, of this sentence is what? Is I don't like cooking in general, right? So just all cooking. I don't like cooking in general. It's not one of my favorite things or one of the things that I enjoy or like to do. Same thing. I don't really like to cook. It's, it has the same sense. It also means in general. And that's, and that's basically what you're saying in this sentence. Uh, Julian says it's from the movie It's Wonderful. No, it's not. It's not from the movie It's Wonderful. But uh, what good guess, Julian, but that's not it. She loves, oh, Bisma has, a, Bisma has an example. She loves playing the piano. She loves to play piano. Yes, that is perfect. Nothing wrong with that. I hate studying maths. I hate to study maths. Yes, also summer. Very, very good. Yeah, you guys are getting it, which is uh, great. And I'm not surprised. You guys always get it because you are awesome students. Hamouz Ibrahim, hello everyone, I'm here. Sorry to be late, no problem. Hamouz, thank you for coming to the class and welcome. All right. Ooh, JB is, uh, is, is using uh, f a different language to explain, I think, the point to Arij. And I don't know what the language is. But, uh, but I trust in JB. JB is usually uh, very good at explaining things that I'm talking about. JB's, uh, JB's my right hand, uh, my right hand grammar, uh, <laughs> grammar corrector. <laughs> oh, it's in Malay. Okay, so from Malaysia, I'm assuming, right? Uh, 
<laughs> Julian says, Karim, can you spell the quote in the chat? Julian's going crazy over that quote. He just wants to win a quote from anything. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying it's nice. It's nice, Julian, but I'm using the accent of the guy that was saying it in the movie. It's nice. <laughs> so I, I hope you get what it is. All right. Oh, Arif says, JB, I'm Saudi. So she doesn't get what you said, JB, unfortunately. All right, let's carry on. Let's start organizing the party. Let's start to organize the party. Remember, if you understood what I said in the first two sentences, if you, under, if you get it, the rest, the rest are just the same, right? All, we're just showing you more examples to show that they mean the same thing. It doesn't matter if you say a verb plus the infinitive or if you say a verb plus a gerund, right? Both of them have the same meaning. She used to hate studying. She used to hate to study. They continued living together after the breakup. Very weird. Um, they continued to live together <laughs> after the breakup, right? And that's, uh, and that's it, right? So both of them have exactly the same meaning. And this is, this is the point that you should get from this part. So Rose, as an example, I like living in my city. I like living in my city. You said the same thing twice, Rosa. <laughs> oh, there you go. She corrected it. I like to live. Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right, Rosa. That's correct. I love to drive a car. I love driving a car. Yes, you guys are nailing it. You guys are getting all the examples correct. I don't think anybody has written a wrong example yet, which is, uh, which is nice. It's so nice. That, that's my word for today's lesson. I'm just going to say it's so nice randomly every five minutes. <laughs> ah, Remo. Remo says, I like smart English. These are the things that we live for, Remo. It's, it's those comments that give me the energy to continue. Thank you very much. We, uh, we, we, uh, we try our best. Thank you. Yes, Julian finally got it. It's from Borat. <laughs> yes, it's from Borat, Julian. You got it. It's an ass. All right, let's carry on. So, verb plus the infinitive or a gerund, but different meaning. Ooh. Now, what, 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 what did we just say? I just told you, right, right now, I just told you the verb plus the infinitive or the verb plus the gerund has the same meaning. But be careful. What did I say? I said with these words, right? So words like begin, continue, hate, like, love, prefer, start, and there's a few others. Now let's take a look when you use this form, but it has a different meaning, right? So um, we're gonna look at words when you use them in the infinitive. They don't have the same meaning if you use it um, as a gerund, right? So let's, uh, let's carry on. All right, so the two words that we are going to be looking at are very simple. <laughs> Summer says, no, that doesn't count, Julian. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count. That's true. It's not the official movie quote of the week. So it doesn't count. OK, so we're going to be looking at two words, remember and forget. So that should make it simple, right? So you only have to remember these two words, right? So remember and forget, they don't have the same meaning when you use them as an infinitive versus when you use them as um, in, a, in a, or when you use them in a gerund form. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look. So what's the first part saying? First part is saying, when we use the verb forget with gerunds, okay? So please pay attention now, right? When we use forget with a gerund, we are saying that the action was done, it's finished, but the person doesn't remember doing the action. Okay, so two things that you have to remember. When we use um, forget with a gerund, it means two things. It means the action that you're talking about, this action is finished, right? It's done, it's in the past, it's over, it happened. But you don't remember. You don't remember doing that action. All right. So let's let's take a look at some uh, let's take a look at some examples to uh, to just check. All right. So Jack forgets meeting me. Jack forgets meeting me. So 
what does that mean? Remember I said two things. It, it means that the action happened, right? So it, it, it did happen, but he doesn't remember. The person doesn't remember. So Jack forgets meeting me very simply means what? He met me. Jack actually met me before, but Jack just doesn't remember that he met me. So that's the meaning that you're saying in, uh, in, uh, in this class. <laughs> Gertrude is saying this is the worst part of today's class. Why, Gertrude? Is give it some time. It's not so difficult. Like we're gonna look at some, uh, we're gonna look at some examples, and you'll see it. It's not difficult. Once you start to understand it, it becomes easier when you practice it. Okay. Okay. Next part. I forget saying that we were going to meet today. Oh, I forget saying that we were gonna meet today. So I did say that we were going to meet today, but I just don't remember it. I have no memory of it. I can't remember. I, I, I did it, it happened, I just can't remember it. All right, so this is what it means when we use forget with a gerund. Okay, now let's take a look at when we use the verb remember with a gerund. Um, yes, but be careful, Dudi. When you say I, we say I forget, not I forgets, right? Uh, forgets is uh, is for he, she, it, right? My husband forgets buying diamonds uh, for Valentine's Day. That means he bought it, but he forgot that he bought it. Um, <clears throat> okay. Now let's take a look at remember, right? So remember, what, what did I say about forget? Forget, gerund, it means the action happened, but the person doesn't remember that the action happened. Okay, now let's look at remember. We're still talking about gerunds, okay? So when we use the verb remember with gerunds, what are you saying now? You're saying that the action was done and the person remembers doing it, right? So both cases, the action happened, the only difference is forgets means you don't remember the action happening, and remember means you do remember, right? So it's not that hard to forget really the meaning here. Uh, Arij says, so it's an action that happened in the past. Yes, it means that something happened. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, be careful, where is it? I forget, I forget. Remo, be careful, Remo. We're talking about gerunds right now, right? You use the infinitive. I didn't talk about that yet. We're just talking about gerunds like now. Um, ba -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Okay, now let's see. Now we're going to be talking about the infinitive, okay? So when we use remember or forget with infinitive, Infinitives, right? So two plus the base form or the verb one or the original verb, whichever way that you uh, you guys learned it. Um, but when we use remember or forget with the infinitive, we are saying that why we did or didn't do the action. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's clarify <laughs> this uh, this point. Okay, one more time. Remember, forget with a gerund means. Something happened, but I don't remember. I forgot, right? That's what the word forget, why we use forget. If I say remember with a gerund, it means the action happened, but I remember doing it. I have a memory of it. I didn't forget that I did it, okay? Now, if you use remember or forget with the infinitive, this is the form that you use when you are trying um, to explain to somebody why did you do something or why you didn't do it, right? So that's, that's the reason for this form. And, uh, and let's, let's take a look. I forgot to bring my money. I didn't bring my money because I forgot to do it, right? When you say I forgot to bring my money, well, why didn't you bring your money? I forgot to bring it, right? So you're, you're telling me the reason. Why, 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 did you, why didn't you bring the money? Because I forgot to bring it. Right? So you're telling me why something happened or why something didn't happen. She remembered to call him. So did, um, for example, hey, did Sam wake up on time today? Yes. Oh, really? Why? 
he's usually late? Well, because she remembered to call him, for example, right? For example, um, hello, teacher. Oh, hello. Hi, Hassanaya, and welcome to the class. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, Darwin is also here. Hello, Darwin. Lolly, <laughs> Lolly 70 says, Kareem forgets to say hello to me. Um, hello, Lolly 70. It's, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I, I didn't notice. Oh, you even said it before. I'm sorry about that. I didn't see your name. <laughs> hello, Lolly 70, and welcome to the class. All right. So I'll say this one more time. Hopefully, you guys, um, it's clear for everybody. So remember, when we say forget with a gerund, right, it means that something happened. Right? So remember this part, right? It means something happened, but you forgot. And it makes sense because you're using the word forget, right? So you forgot. Something happened, but you don't remember. If you say remember with a gerund, it means that something happened, but this time I remember that it happened. And this is why we use the word remember. The meaning changes when you're using it with an infinitive, right? So remember or forget. With the infinitive, it just means you're telling me why. You're telling me the reason something happened or didn't happen. And that's it. That's, that's very simply all we mean. So I hope that that is clear. Joel. Oh, hello, Joel. Joel is saying excellent with an exclamation mark. But I don't know why. Maybe I missed something in the chat. I'm not sure. But excellent. Mahmoud is saying why we use she remembered in the example that you gave. Um, because don't get confused, Mahmoud, right? So it, 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 you have to, to make it easier, build a story, right? Or make a context for yourself. So for example, I don't know, imagine we have John and uh, imagine we have um, Sarah, okay? So John always wakes up late every single day, but... John, let's say, has a meeting today. So he planned, or he told Sarah, right? Or I know that John has an important meeting, so I tell Sarah, hey, Sarah, please make sure to call John today in the morning because he can't be late for this meeting. So today came, Sarah called John. John woke up on time. He went to the meeting, and he was there on time. So imagine now I'm sitting down, and somebody is asking me, oh, was, was did, did did John make it on time to the meeting? And I say, yes, he did. And you're like, oh, really? Why or how? He's always late. And then I say, oh, because Sarah remembered to call him. That's it. So I'm just telling you the reason, right, of why something happened, right? She remembered to call him. Um, what is that? JB say, oh, yes, we, yes, JB, we hit 100,000 subscribers. Thank you. It's all because of you guys. But yes, thank you very much. Yeah, we hit that about three weeks ago or sometime, sometime last month, which is, uh, which is great. I'm looking forward to a quarter of a million soon. Uh, 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 uh. I remember being forgotten or I remember to being forgotten. Um, I would say the first sentence, Judith. I'm not sure what the context is, but the first sentence is the correct one. Um, I forgot to get the phone. I forgot to get the phone. We want that silver button. Yes, I know, Summer. I told Julian when the silver button comes, he should bring it here to the studio so I can show it to you guys. But the silver button is not here yet. You guys should tell Julian. Go to Discord and tell Julian to make sure to give me the silver button when, uh, when we get it. Uh, Rosa says, I always remember to attend Kareem's classes. High five, Rosa. <coughs> that is a good example. Yes. Um, Eddie says it's easy. Okay, that's good. I like it when you guys think things are easy. That means uh, you're understanding what I'm saying, which is good. Uh, 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 uh. I remember to be in Kareem's uh, apostrophe S. Kareem's class for possession, Pilar. Be careful with that. I remember every Wednesday. I rem yeah, very good. Yes, I remember to be in Kareem's class every Wednesday. That is good. 
Okay. I always, rem <laughs> I always remember Kareem's awesome sauce class. Thank you, my slam dipping uh, student. I appreciate that, Julian. I forget. I forgot. I forgot to catch up uh, with today's class. I remembered to work out today. Yeah, Summer, there's that, that's, that's a good one. I remembered to work out today. Very nice. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, next we're going to be talking about try. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the word try. When we use try with, uh, with a gerund, our meaning is to experiment with something, right? So try plus a gerund, basically you're trying to express or you're trying to communicate to somebody that um, you, you're experimenting, right? You're, 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 I don't want to use the word try, you're trying it out because, because I'm explaining it. But yeah, right. So you're you're basically experimenting with something. You're you're seeing what it's like, right? How does this feel, or how does this? What's the experience if I do this, right? So maybe this means to do something for the first time, to get the experience, or maybe this means to do something to see if it works, or it solves a problem, right? So just remember, the meaning is to experiment with something. Um, <clears throat> So let's take a look at some examples, Rosa, and hopefully try will not be tricky anymore for you. So I tried snowboarding last week. What do you guys think? Do you think that here it means for the first time or he's trying to experiment or to solve a problem? I tried snowboarding last week. So I would say um, in this case, this person is trying to express that he's trying something, or she in this case, she tried something for the first time, right? She's never, yes, right? So a lot of you are saying first time, first time, first time. That's it, right? So yeah, Rosa and Summer, you guys are getting it. Next example, she doesn't want to try rollerblading because she is afraid. She doesn't want to try, right? She doesn't want to experiment. She doesn't want to do it for the first time because she is afraid. Try not to shut your eyes when you look at the sun. Yes, that, um, if, yeah, Stefan, that is a good negative sentence with the infinitive. Um, I try, I try writing, I, tr uh, I try writing, I tried, I tried writing my first comment, I would say, Andre. And if that is your first comment, Andre, hello and welcome to the chat. Thank you very much for coming. Um, <coughs> doctors tried saving his life. Tried. I tried to study. Last day? Do you mean yesterday, duty? Yesterday, I tried to study yesterday or I tried to study on the last day. That means on the last day before the exam. Um, Dalia Karim, can you please share the link of the lesson document? I don't have a lesson document, uh, Dalia. This is, not, uh, this, is not a, this is not a shareable lesson. This is, this is, I'm using SMART. But I'll share with you the exercise document, right? So the exercise document for today, I'll, uh, I'll share that with you guys. But I, I can't share this lesson. so. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, after the class is done, you can always rewatch it again and you can pause wherever you want and, uh, and things like that. But I'll share, I'll share the exercise. Uh, Dudi says, yes, you meant yesterday. Okay, yes, very good. All right, next example. If you can't sleep, you shouldn't try, or sorry, you should, not you shouldn't. If you can't sleep, you should try drinking warm milk. Now, in this case, do you think this is the first time that, uh, that they're doing this or not? What do, you guys, uh, what do you guys think? So tell me, first time or trying to solve a problem or experimenting to see if it will solve a problem? Summer says it's not, which I'm guessing you mean it's not the first time. 
Uh, to solve a problem, Garima. Oh, hi, Garima. Thank you for, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, 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 uh. Arish says, I haven't tried, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't tried skydiving before. Yes, so she's talking about the experience. She's never had that experience before. Very good. Uh, trying to solve a problem. Yes, most of you are getting it. Not the first time, not the first time. Yes, right? So you guys are getting it. If you can't sleep, you should try drinking warm milk. Maybe it will help you, right? You should try studying at the library. You should try studying at the library. It is a great place to study. So again, here you should try studying at the library. Honestly, it depends. So in this sentence, it could mean both. Maybe she's never been to the library before. So here, go try it for the first time. Um, but I would say it makes more sense really for her to experiment, right? So she's experimenting. She's gonna try studying at the library. Maybe she will get more work done over there. I tried answering all the questions in the class. Yes, Bisma, that's a good, that's a very good sentence. Kareem, will you join my live stream this week? Ooh, I didn't know you had a live stream, Julian. What's uh, what's uh, what's the live stream about? But uh, yeah, if 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 I'm not at work, um, yeah, I'll be very interested. Actually, I'll be super interested in the, in joining the live stream. I'll be I'll be on the other side of the screen for a change, right? Instead of in your faces all the time. But uh, but. I don't know if I'm going to be working or not. So just tell me the time and, uh, and the date and all that sort of stuff, and uh, I'll figure it out. <clears throat> if you cannot study, you should try sleeping early. That's a good sentence, but if you can't study, you should sleep early. Mm, why? How is that going to help? The sentence is fine, though. Friday, Julian saying Friday, 7.30 p.m. p.m. what time? My time, your time, uh, I have no idea what 7.30 p.m. is. So please tell me. Okay. <clears throat> so remember, we've been talking so far about try with a gerund, right? So try with a gerund means what? It means that you are trying something for the first time or you're maybe experimenting with something to see that it might, maybe it might solve a problem for you or something like that. Uh, Julian says, same time. We have the same time. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, then I probably can. Yes, um, 7.30 on Friday. I should be free and I should be at home. So, uh, yeah, Julian, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll check you out. Just send me a message on the Discord to remind me. But yeah, 7.30 on Friday sounds, uh, sounds good. If it's the same time, if we share the same time, then, uh, then yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, now let's talk about, uh, where did it go? We talked about try with a gerund. Now we're gonna talk about try with the infinitive. If you're addicted to coffee, you should try not drinking it, or you should try not to drink it. Is it right? You should try, you should try studying. You should try studying at the library. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at try with the infinitive first, okay? So when we use try with the infinitive, right? So remember, two plus, I always go two when I say two, but it's two T-O, right? Not two the number. So remember, the infinitive is two plus the base form of the verb. So when we use try with an infinitive, it means we are making an effort to do something, right? So it doesn't mean that you're trying something for the first time. It doesn't mean that you're experimenting. It means you are making an effort, right? You are really putting a lot of effort to try to do something. So he never tries to speak English outside of school. So I'm not saying he doesn't experiment. I'm not saying he's trying to experience something for the first time. I'm telling you he doesn't do any effort. He doesn't put any effort into trying to speak English outside of the school. No effort whatsoever, right? I tried to tell you about the problem, but you wouldn't listen. So again, you, you, you can really guess from the context of the sentence also, right? If I'm trying to tell you about the problem, I'm not 
but you wouldn't listen. That doesn't mean that I was experimenting, right? It doesn't mean that I was trying something for the first time. I'm telling you, hey, I tried. I put effort to try to tell you, but you didn't listen. So I hope, I hope you get that, what, what I mean when I say you are making an effort to do something. I tried to sleep last night, but I was too excited about the trip. So this is a good example, right? Because most of us sleep every day, unless you are an insomniac. Um, people sleep every day, right? So you know that this doesn't mean you're experimenting. It doesn't mean that you're trying it for the first time. You're saying, I put effort into sleeping, but I couldn't because I was too excited um, about the trip in this case. I try to speak English. Yes, if you're, if you're trying to, to express um, that you're putting effort, Gertrudis, then that is a good sentence. I tried to read an English magazine, but I failed. Lolly 70, that is a good sentence again. Rosa says, I tried to get a diamond ring for Valentine's Day, but unfortunately, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> yes, that's a good sentence, Rosa. Uh, I try to get better in English. Yep. They always try to humiliate me in public. Yes. Yeah, you guys are you guys are getting it. That's a that's a very good. Um, that's a very. Uh, oh, sorry. Most of you are giving really good examples, actually. If you want, to do, 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 what's happening? I want. Uh, I want to lose weight. Uh, yes, JB is correct, Delia. I try to finish my homework. Yeah, most of you are, um, or actually all of you, I think, all of you are getting it pretty, uh, pretty well. Okay. Don't try to read English newspapers until you improve your English. Oh my God, that is so. That is really bad advice. I would, <laughs> I would not, I would not say that. <laughs> I would, I would not recommend that you don't read an, an English newspaper because. I would recommend that you read an English newspaper so that you can improve your English. Uh, read my example, please. Where is your example, Summer? I can't see it. I don't see your example. Your example went all the way up in the chat, Summer. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, I found it. I tried to eat sushi and Korean cuisines. Um, cuisine is uncountable. Uh, isn't it? I think cuisine is uncountable. I don't know why I'm doubting myself, but uh, let's check. Cuisine, countable, or uncountable. Cuisine. So let's, uh, let's check what Mr. Oxford says. It's both. <laughs> it's, uh, it's both. Um, uh, uh, uh. But but they were not as delicious as I expected. That uh, your sentence, by the way, is, uh, is 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 great, Summer. Yep, your sentence is very very nice. It's so nice. Um, <clears throat> I try to read, I try to read, I try to read a newspaper or the newspaper, I would say Bisma. I try to read the newspaper daily uh, in English. We don't say the English, in English. Um, even though I get a tough, I have a tough time doing so. I tried to write yesterday, but uh, I was I was prom. I tried to write yesterday. Mm, but it was a problem, I would say. The chord um, Ah, uh, wow, this is wow again. Wait, what did you say your name was? Um, Mosab, right? Mosab or Mosad? I can't remember. Mosab, I think it's Mosab. Um, 
I don't know what is uh, what is the cord. Is that the correct word, uh, Musab? Please uh, check your spelling and just confirm, and I'll uh, and I'll I'll try to tell you what it is. Um, MM Kick says hi, Kareem. Hello, and welcome to the class. Uh, I try not to lie. I try not to lie, um, Paolo. Okay, <clears throat> let's get back. Ooh, we're not doing this today. We're doing this next week. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about stop. Okay, so the next word we're talking about is stop. So remember, what did we talk about so far today? We talked about the verbs and the infinitive, right? We talked about how to put not, usually goes before the infinitive. We talked about verbs plus the infinitive or a gerund. When we use these words, they have the same meaning. You're not saying anything different. When we use um, remember and forget, right? When we use forget or remember with a gerund, in both cases, it means that what? It means that the action happened. When you say forget, it means the action happened, but you don't remember. And when you use remember, it means the action happened, but you do remember. And then we talked about try. Try with a gerund means you're trying something for the first time, you're experimenting, um, you're trying to see if something is going to solve a problem maybe or something like that. Try with an infinitive very simply means that you are making an effort, right? You're saying, um, you're, you're just expressing that you put effort in doing something. Uh, and remember and forget with infinitive. Sorry, I forgot to, to do a rev review for that. It means that you're saying why, right? Why the action happened or didn't happen. Oh, Discord. Discord, Musab, is uh, this. This is Discord. So this is uh, it's a new thing. Um, well, Discord is not new, but uh, we at Smart we made uh, we made a specific um, we made a specific channel for Smart, so you guys can come in. There's a channel for me. There's a channel for Kent. Um, there's a general channel where all of you guys can talk about whatever stuff, and then we have stuff on the side here. So conversation clubs. Oh, Musab, you're already in there. I see you. So you guys can even chat with each other. And we have some topics for the chat, like general or news. So make friends with each other and then go to Discord and you know just use it. Chat with each other, um, talk, talk with us, whatever you want to do. I tried to solve a problem, but I couldn't. But I couldn't. Um, Hamu says, I try, Hamu's as much as I can to read all the examples that you guys are typing, and I try to interact with you guys as much as I can, but I can't read everything. If I do, um, this class will never finish. <laughs> and I'll sit here for five hours. So, uh, so I try my best, and I try to take different ones each time and everything, but, uh, but I can't, I, can't uh, I, I literally can't. It's impossible for me to take every single example that you, guys, uh, that you guys write. I try to choose different ones or choose ones that might answer similar questions. But, uh, but yeah, I try, the be I try my best. OK. Dom, 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 dom. So we're going to be talking about stop now. Stop. OK, so as usual, we're going to be talking about the gerund again. So when we use a gerund with stop, what is the meaning in this case? The meaning is that the action finishes. It is done. It's over. It is not happening anymore. So for example, we stopped driving because we were tired. We stopped driving because we were tired. That's it. You're just telling me that this action, driving, it's done. It's not happening anymore. It's over. Ooh, Canal Prenda. I am from Angola in Africa. Yo, Canal, and thank you very much for uh, coming to the class. I don't think I've ever had a student from Angola before. So thank you very much. You are the first. Um, all 
on, 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 on. Noor. Oh, hi, Noor. I didn't see you there. Welcome to the class. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Canal. I, 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 I appreciate uh, that you are enjoying the lesson. That is, uh, that's great. A little boost of happiness to continue. <laughs> All right, so here we go. When we use a gerund with stop, remember, what did I say? It means that the action that you are talking about is finished. It's not happening anymore. It is done. It ended. So, for example, I stopped studying at 9 p.m. last night. The focus of the sentence is I'm just telling you when the action of studying, when did that stop, right? So it stopped studying at 9 p.m. last night. Um, <clears throat> you should stop working and take some time off, right? So again, you should stop working and take some time off. Here, I'm, the action didn't end, but I'm telling you I want you to finish this action. I want this action, I want you to stop it, to end it, to make it end, right? To make it finish. We use stop with an infinitive to say that we stopped this action because I want to do something else, right? So like it says here, we are saying that we stop an action, why? in order to do something else, right? So just remember it this way. When we use stop with an infinitive, you're saying, I stop the action, and then ask yourself, why? Because, and that's it, right? So you're telling me also, what is the, why did you stop this action? Because I wanna do something else. So let's take a look at that. We stopped, so what did I say? Imagine that you are asking yourself why, right? So we stopped, why? To take some pictures. So you're telling me the reason that you stopped. You're telling me why you stopped, whatever it is that you stopped. So let's stop. Why? <laughs> and you should always look surprised when you're asking yourself, why, like that, <laughs> to take a break, right? So what are you saying? Again, you're saying the reason why we stopped, whatever it is, we stopped driving, we stopped walking, we stopped whatever, it doesn't matter, right? But you're telling me why you stopped. Why did you stop? To take a break. So, uh, so I hope that that is clear for you guys. I stopped, yes, Summer, that's a good example. I stopped to buy a cup of coffee. So again, think of the question, right? I stopped, why, to buy a cup of coffee? Uh, or sorry, tea, tea. Summer said tea, she did not say coffee. Of course, I'm saying coffee because I'm addicted to coffee. I stopped by the river, why? To enjoy the beautiful sights. Yes, um, I stopped trying, <laughs> I stopped trying, uh, I stopped trying to beat Summer in movie quotes. Um, I think, Julian, you're trying to do the first one, right? You're talking about an action finishes because you're not giving me a reason why. So in that case, I would say, uh, where did it go, where did it go, where did it go? I stopped trying. Remember, we use it with the gerund, right? To show that the action is finished. So I stopped trying uh, to beat Summer in movie quotes. Da, 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 da. The teacher. The teacher let us stop. Think about what you're saying, Bisma. The te I think that you mean to say that the teacher stopped, not you. The teacher stopped. Why? To let you copy down um, the lecture. Yes. Judith, again, you look at your sentence. I try to understand. I try to understand politics, but I always fail because um, its direction changes a lot. Um, so then, your second sentence, you're saying, "I stop to make more effort to understand it." Remember, we say stop with the infinitive. You're telling me the reason, right? You're not telling me the reason in this sentence. So you should say, "I stopped making." You want the you want the other one. You want the gerund. You're just telling me that the action finished. You didn't tell me why. 
right? So remember, right? I know I'm, 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 I'm saying it in a funny way, but I'm using this way and I'm making a, a fool out of myself so you guys can remember this, right? So always remember it this way. We stopped. Why? And then you have to say to take. You have to use the infinitive right after that. If you're explaining the reason, right? You have to use the infinitive. Uh, I stopped. Why? To buy pizza. Yes, Noor, that's, that's, that's a good sentence. I stopped to buy pizza. My mother stopped talking to me because I did a mistake yesterday. My mother, my mother stopped talking to me because I did a mistake yesterday. Uh, yeah, if, uh, if you're talking about, uh, you used it with a gerund, so you're telling me that your mom basically finished the action of talking to you, then yes, that is correct. I stopped I stopped why? <laughs> to attend this lecture. Yes, Dalia, that's very good. I stopped to attend this lecture. Um, okay, I think some of you guys are getting a little bit confused about something, and let me just clarify that up, okay? So notice what it, when, when I say we stopped, let's stop, I stopped, immediately after it, we say the infinitive, right? I'm saying this why? Because I'm noticing some sentences in the chat. You guys are saying, for example, for example, where is it? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Um, oh, for example, you're saying, I stopped to eat pizza. And then you're saying, to watch Kareem's video. But that's, it's not, that's not it, right? You want to say, I stopped eating pizza. In this case, you're focusing on the action of pizza being finished. If you want to use the second way, you have to use the infinitive right after stopped. And the infinitive, that is your reason. Your reason is the infinitive. So I stopped. Why? To watch, excuse me, to watch Kareem's video. That's, that is what you want to say. Let me, um, let me actually, let me copy this sentence. Um, and let's put it here just to clarify some stuff for you guys, right? So this is from the chat. I stopped to eat pizza to watch Kareem's video. The mistake that you guys are making is what? You're forgetting after the word stop, this is where you have to use the infinitive. But the infinitive in this case is the reason. This is your reason why. So if this sentence, by the way, if you, wanna, if you wanna tell me that you just finished eating pizza, then you would say, I stopped, and then you would say eating, right? So let's, let's write all, all of them. So I stopped, I would say eating. I stopped eating pizza to watch Kareem's video, right? So I know that you're telling me that this is the reason, but that's, that's not the form. The form is in this part, right? I stopped and then the gerund, there's your gerund. It's after the word stop, right? So now that means you're just focusing on telling me this. You added some extra information here telling me the reason, that's fine. But usually in these types of sentences, if you want to show, um, if you want to show the reason, then your reason needs to be immediately after the word stop. So for example, I stopped, why? And then you, if your reason is to watch Kareem's video, then this is what you say. I stopped, why? To watch Kareem's video. If your reason is you stopped whatever action to eat the pizza, then, oh sorry, then, then to eat the pizza, becomes your reason, right? So just remember this, it's what after, uh, sorry, what comes after the word stop. If it's the infinitive, that means you're trying to tell me the reason, and the reason should be after the word stop. If it's a gerund, then you're just telling me that I finished what? This action, eating. It doesn't really matter the reason here, that's not what you're focusing on. I hope that you guys got this point, because I've noticed that a lot of you are, are, are doing that in the chat. So I really hope that that was clear. 
Um, Uh, Gosia says, I will remember this why forever. Good. <laughs> Good. Hopefully you will never forget it then. Uh, uh, then uh, clear, clear, clear. Okay. I stopped why to tie my shoelaces. Yes, Stefan. I stopped smoking because it is bad for my health. Yes, Pilar, but in this sentence, you're using the gerund. So your focus is you're telling me that you stopped smoking, right? It, it's not the reason. Very good. Um, mm, 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 mm. I stopped why to join the live class. Very good. Yes, you guys are getting it. Good, good, good. All right, let's go back. And I think that's it. Shabao. So, uh, so that's it. So let's, uh, let's very, very quickly. Abid says it's clear. Judith says clear. A lot of you are saying it's clear. I stopped. Um, 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 um. Okay. Um, so, okay. Somebody is still. Okay. Let's do one more example from the examples that you guys are using in the chat, just to make it a little bit clear. Okay. So this is another example <clears throat> from the chat. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see and make it bold. Oh, Delia has a good question that I will, I'll, I'll, I'll actually let me copy it so I don't lose it. Uh, and I will use this in the next, um, in the next one. Gertrude says she's clear now. Yay, very good. Okay, let's just, uh, let me do this example so hopefully also we'll try to clarify some, uh, some confusion. Um, some confusion here, right? So for example, I stopped to drive my car to take some water. So I think what you're trying to do in this sentence is you're trying to give me the reason. But the reason, what is the reason here? If you say I stopped to drive my car to take some water, it's, this is not a very correct sentence, right? So let's, let's write it in two different ways that are correct. So I stopped. Remember, if I use a gerund, I stopped driving my car to take some water, right? So remember, in the gerund case, and let me, uh, let me, let me, let me highlight this uh, word. I can't just sit still without doing voices, seriously. It's, I can't help myself. All right, so this is the gerund, right? In this case, it's a gerund. So I stopped driving my car to take some water. Because it's a gerund, the focus of this sentence is not the reason. The focus is not the reason. The focus is the action finishing, right? And what action am I talking about in this case? I'm talking about the action, no, let's, uh, let's make it clear, the action drive. is finishing, right? So this is the focus of the sentence in this case. Now, let's try to do it again. I stopped. Now, I don't want to use the gerund. Remember, when we use a gerund, it means that the action drive is finishing, whatever the action it is that you're talking about. This is the focus. This is, this is the main thing that you're trying to express or to communicate. Now, let's look at a different one. I stopped. Now, let's use the infinitive, right? So I stopped. Why? To drive my car. Right, to drive my car. So in this case, what are you saying? In this case, you're saying I stopped, and the reason for stopping, if you notice, I, I didn't tell you what, what I stopped, right? I'm not, I'm not mentioning what I stopped. That's not the point. I'm just telling you, hey, I stopped whatever I was doing. Why? Because I'm trying to focus on why I stopped, right? So I stopped, why? To drive my car, right? So in this case, because you have because you have the infinitive, right? So now the focus is on what? The focus is on the reason, right? The focus is on the reason, right? The reason for stopping. And I hope that it's clear now, you guys. I really, really hope it's clear. 
get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, some of you are saying that you get it, which is good. Thresh, what are we talking about? Thresh, you are uh, you're a little bit late, so you probably missed most of the lesson. We actually finished it. Uh, but we're talking about verb patterns, and this is lesson two, which is I'm continuing from last week, which we talked about verb patterns one. So I recommend, um, I recommend that you go back and you watch last week's lesson. After that, you can watch today's lesson after this video is finished. You will find it on the Smart um, English channel. So you can watch it, uh, you can watch it again. Um, boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, I was I wanted to do Dalia's uh, Dalia's sentence. All right, so let's take a look at Dalia's sentence. So Dalia says, "What is the difference between I stopped to watch this video and I stopped watching this video?" And that's a good uh, that's a good question. So let's uh, let's take a look. So let's make this one sentence. Bum bum, and this is uh, the other sentence. And let's. All right, so I stopped to watch this video. Come on, you guys tell me. What, uh, what, do, you think is the, uh, what do you think is the focus? Um, what do you think is the focus in the first sentence? I stopped to watch this video. Are they focusing on the action finishing? Or are they focusing on telling me the reason? Yes, there you go, you guys are getting it. Yes, exactly, right? So remember, it's the infinitive. So that means this is the one with the funny why, right? So I stopped, why, to watch this video. <laughs> to watch this video. All right, just remember, remember how I make a fool of myself just to make you guys not forget important information. So yes, this is, this, is, <laughs> this is for the reason, right? So you're telling me the reason. In the second one, I stopped watching this video. So the second one is pretty obvious. I stopped watching. You're using a gerund now. So all you're doing here is you are expressing. What are you expressing? Come on, I know you guys know this. I know you know it. Yes, watching is finished. There we go. It just means that watching, right? The action of watching is finished. Boom. And that's it. Right? So you guys, I think you guys are starting to get it now. All right. And uh, that is it. We are actually, ladies and gentlemen, we made it till the end of the lesson. And we survived. Uh, it's clear, it's clear, it's clear. Nice. I stopped working for today. Yes, that means you're just telling me that the action of work or working, that's done, it's finished. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ah, Pilar says it's clear with a yay and a lot of letters in the yay, so I'm guessing that means she's excited. So good, I'm happy that you got it, Pilar. Dalia also says that she got it, very nice. All right, I think you guys are, uh, are getting it now. So let's, uh, let's do some exercises. All right, let's do some exercises. Who wants to do exercises? Oh, great. Rosa says, absolutely clear. Nice. I stopped. Why? To follow the explanation. <laughs> yes, that's very good. Very, very good. Got to go. Oh, me, 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 me. Everybody's saying me, you want exercises. I knew it. You guys always want exercises. And I like that. I like, like you, I like that you want to do and you want to put real effort. So let's do it. All right, so let's open the exercise. Oh, where is it? Didn't open. There we go. Exercise time. <laughs> yes, it's exercise time. Rosa says that funny voice works. Yeah, I know. You know, actually, Rosa, this is uh, this is a trick that um, an old manager of mine uh, taught me. So uh, he would uh, he would always he would tell me uh, 
he, he taught me a lot of things, to be honest. I'm very grateful for him because he taught me a lot of things uh, that I think are important and I use till this day in my life. So one of the things that he was, uh, one of the things that he was uh, talking to me about one day was, he said a very good way to make people remember something, right, and not forget it, is, uh, is to say it or to, uh, or, or to somehow link it with a very unusual or very strange voice. And, uh, and he gave an example like in a meeting, he would, he would uh, for example, in a meeting, he would say something and then scream it or shout it or say it in something that's not normally the way that he talks. And, uh, and he asked me, hey, do you remember what I said last week about something? And I said, yeah, you said this. And he says, why do you remember? And it was because he said it in a weird way. So that's a, that's a technique that I've been using uh, for a long time because, uh, because it works. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> That's the story behind that. Okay, so what do I need first? First, 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 first. I need to make a copy so that I can share it with you guys. Great. Yeah, I know, Rosa, right? It was a, it was a fantastic tip. I use, it, I use it all the time. And it really works because people... You know, when you're talking and everything is the same, people remember the whoosh, the spikes, right? Or people remember the unusual moments or the feelings that they get with unusual moments. So this is my copy. Yes, this is the copy. So let's delete this and let's go to share. And where do I want to go advanced and change this to anyone with the link and say yes. Say yes. And copy. Okay, so I'm going to paste <coughs> the link for, uh, for this document for you guys in the chat. Please make sure that you download it and make your own copy so you can type in it. You're not going to be able to type in the copy that I share with you, but um, you can make a copy for yourself and then you can type in it, right? So please hit the link and I'll see that once you guys start coming in. There you go. So most of you are getting it now. Now let's choose, let's choose an exercise. Complete each sentence with infinitives. Mm, that's very boring. We're just gonna use infinitives and in all the answers. No, 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 no. That is too easy for you guys. I will not allow it. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's look for a more exciting exercise. Or a harder one, I should say. Not more exciting, just a harder one. What does this one say? What happened in each conversation? Mm -hmm. one either yes there we go I want where you can choose all right so here it is um, let's go to exercise number three everybody right so scroll down please on your document until you get to number three the exercise that looks like this right so it says complete the sentences Write the verbs in parentheses, and if you don't know what the word parentheses means, it just means these things. Those two things, right? So parentheses or brackets, some people call them brackets, um, but that's what we call them usually in North America. So one more time, complete the sentences, write the verbs in parentheses, and their gerund or infinitive form, right? So the teacher offered the teacher offered to help. So let's see what you guys come up with. And just to make this simple, just to make this simple, please listen to me, you guys, because there's a lot of you in the chat today, right? And it's very hard to read all the messages. So let's just do the first four for now, just to, so we can control this easier in the chat, right? So let's do, I'll write this down. Let's do B, C, D, and E. So B, C, D, and E. 
Right, so I'll give you guys a couple of minutes and I will be back. And meanwhile, let's listen to more of, uh, of Julian's Datubi music. So courtesy of Julian Carter in the chat. Thank you very much, Julian. So here we go. I'll get out of your face. And uh, I'll see you guys in two minutes. Two minutes. Remember, B, C, D, and E. We just go no, 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 no. No, we can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, 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 low. Waited for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah, don't go, don't go. I just can't come close, come close. I'm looking for the loco, loco. No, I don't wanna postpone, postpone. Yeah, whip it, flip it. I just wanna get it. Going all in and I won't stop winning. Whip it, flip it. I just wanna get it. Let it all go and I won't stop winning. No, I don't wanna hear about your front. A lot of bad stories coming out of one joint. I met a true book in the state of my mind. Now I know a lot of rookies coming over for the title. But I don't wanna fight. I just roll the dice. Do it for the money, yeah. Do it for the price. Take it like a man, no. I don't take advice. Put the money on the table like a Russian with the spice. We just go, no, 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 no. You just can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, 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 low. Waited for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah, don't go, don't go. You just can't come close, come close. I'm looking for the loco, loco. No, I don't wanna postpone, postpone. Yeah, whip it, flip it. I just wanna get it. Going all in and I won't stop winning. Whip it, flip it. I just wanna get it. Let it all go and I won't stop winning. No, 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 no. No, it can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, 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 low. Waited for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah, don't go. Don't go, I just can't come close, come close. I'm looking for the loco, loco. No, I don't wanna postpone, postpone. Yeah, press, roll, pick up the gold. Taking no loss, am I sitting no more? No stress, go, pick up the flow. Paying no dues, am I sitting no more? I got plenty more to say about the topic, the way I profit. I just went into the store and then I bought it. Yeah, you know, got it for the very low. All the new additions I've been putting on the payroll. I get emotional just thinking about it Last week I won the poker with my drinking buddies All this money coming in and yeah of course the limo riding I just hope to keep my focus how I live about it No, 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 no it can't come close, come close Got it for the low, 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 low Waited for the six but it's going slow mo, yeah, yeah no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You know, Julian, I actually like your song a lot. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty catchy. I actually enjoy listening to the song uh, <laughs> a lot. It's cool. So thanks, uh, thanks for sharing. All right. Let's see what you guys have been doing. OK, so the first one, what do we have here? She doesn't enjoy. And then we have the word compete against others, right? So let's see what you guys have. Competing, competing, do, 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 do. she doesn't enjoy competing, 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 yes. So most of you got this one correct. She doesn't enjoy competing against others. I know this is hard for you guys to remember because you don't have the uh, page in front of you, but remember these are the verbs, right, that are usually okay with the infinitive that we've talked about in today's lesson, right? So enjoy is not here. So I would say the answer to this is she doesn't enjoy competing against others. She doesn't enjoy competing against others. So um, well done on answering that. I think, I think almost all of you got it right. Yeah, very well done, very well done. All right, next part. I think I would like, and then stay here. I think I would like 
stay here. And most of you said, this is what, C, C. To stay, to stay, where C, 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 to stay, 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 to stay. Yeah, again, most of you guys got this one correct. So job well done. So I would say, again, I think I would like to stay here. I think I would like to stay here. That is the answer that I would put in. Um, D, he always promises, and then some. Uh, you have to use do. So he always promises things, but he never does them. He always promises things, but he never does them. So this is what D, right? D, 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 D. Uh, to do. To do. To do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. Uh, 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 yeah, again, uh, a lot of you got it correctly, so very well done. So he always promises to do things, but he never does them. He always promises to do what? To do things, but he never does them. Uh, uh, uh. What's the next one? She is going to quit. And then we have the word study. And then English. So let's see what you guys are saying. This is uh, E. This is E. So E, she is going to, do, 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 do. you guys say quit studying, quit studying, quit. <laughs> studying, studying, yeah, that's it. All of you chose or wrote the gerund form, which is correct, because in this case, you're just focusing on ending the action, right? You're talking about ending the action. So she is going to quit studying English, right? We're talking about the end, the finish of the action, or the action is going to finish, or it's going to end. Um, mm, 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 mm. Stefan saying somebody's knocking on the door. No, they're not knocking on the door. I think. Uh, I think, yeah, I think they're working on, they're fixing or they're working on something related to the elevator on, on the roof and, um, and I'm on the fourth floor, so the roof is above me, so they're probably, uh, they're probably working on that. I think, uh, <laughs> I think that's, uh, that's what the problem, uh, or that's what the sound is that you guys are hearing. Um, All right, so let's, uh, you know what? Let's do one more, right? What's the time? 4.39, oh, it's already late. Um, but if you guys wanna do one more, let's do one more. This, uh, this exercise looks, uh, looks interesting too. Choose the sentence with the correct grammar. In some cases, both sentences are correct. Uh, Dalia, because we're talking about a repetitive action, so it makes more sense to use the infinitive, right? So uh, I think there was always in the sentence or something like that. So he, he always promises to do, right? Um, that's, that's, that's why. All right, so number four. 
choose a sentence with the correct grammar. In some cases, both sentences are correct, right? So you already have the answers here. You have both sentences in front of you. You just have to choose which one. So to make it simple, let's... So let, 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 let's answer this way. So for example, when you guys answer B, just type B and then this is sentence one and this is sentence two, right? So you don't have to type too much or anything. Just tell me B one or B two or B one and two. If you think both, um, if you think both sentences are correct. Oh, you're very welcome, Areej. You're very, very welcome. Um, I'll see you next week. Um, but yeah, it's up to you guys. If you want to do one more exercise, I can hang around for another five, 10 minutes. That's not a problem. If not, I will finish. Dun, 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 dun. You guys are saying yes. Okay, so let's, uh, so let's do this. Actually, I'll do this without leaving the screen. So I'll be in your face while, uh, while you answer this. So let's do it. Uh, let's go one by one. So B, so as you can see, we have a picture. And what's in this picture here? So we have this girl. As you can see, she looks super excited, very, very excited. And, uh, <laughs> and what, is she, what is she saying? So your options are, I really dislike going to shopping malls. I really dislike going to shopping malls. Or I really dislike to go to shopping malls. I really dislike to go to shopping malls. So, uh, 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 uh. Um, no, I would say one. I would say this is the correct answer. I really dislike to go. We don't say, we don't, it's, it's, it's uncommon. We don't use to or with basically the infinitive. We don't use the infinitive with dislike. It doesn't, it doesn't really work. I really dislike to go. I really dislike to eat. I really dislike to, um, it's more common to say, I really dislike going to shopping malls, right? So I would say that this is the correct answer. Um, it's not very clear, is it? Let's change the color. Um, well, this one. All right, let's try the next one. So we have these guys, they're skydiving, and the sentence is saying, don't try, don't try skydiving. It's very dangerous. Or don't try to skydive. It's very dangerous. So remember, we're talking about try now. So remember, try with a gerund is about what? Experimentation, trying something for the first time. Try with the infinitive means you're putting effort, right? So uh, yeah, I know, JB, right? We usually don't say dislike too, right? It's very, very strange. We don't, we don't usually say that. So do, 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 uh, there you go, more, uh, yeah, all of you are saying number one. And the reason should be clear, it is because I'm talking about, I'm not talking about effort, right? I'm not talking about effort anymore. I'm talking about experimenting. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about you actually trying to do something, maybe for the first time or to experiment to see how it is or to experience it. Very good. Next one. Could you please stop? making that noise. Could you please stop making that noise? Or could you please stop to make that noise? So which one, uh, which one is the correct one here? Which one is the correct answer for D? Let's see who's gonna, who's gonna make a mistake? Okay, okay. I see that a lot of you are in consensus. That means most of you, or almost all of you, agree on the answer. OK, so I'm going to give you a hint. In case you made a mistake, you can change uh, your answer right now. All right, so let's, let's take a look at this together. Could you please stop making that noise? OK, so stop making that noise. Remember, stop has two things, right? Stop with a gerund is 
talking about finishing the action, ending the action. And then we have stop. Why? Because of a reason. So let's see if the second sentence makes sense. Could you please stop? Why? To make that noise. Does that make sense? Is that why we're saying to the person to stop? So hopefully, hopefully, you should have uh, you should have gotten my hint, right? Um, and the answer for this is number one. Why? Because the second one, remember, what did we say about stop plus the infinitive, you guys? It means that the infinitive, this is whatever comes after the word stop, if it's an infinitive, that means everything you say after stop is the reason. That's part of the infinitive, right? So could you please stop? Why? To make that noise. And that doesn't make sense when you look at the picture, right? She, uh, she doesn't want him to stop because she wants him to start making the noise. No, she wants him to end the noise, right? So it should make sense that number one um, is the correct answer for this. Okay, so uh, I, think, I think that's long enough for today. You guys are uh, champions for staying with me almost, <laughs> almost two hours. Uh, I can't believe that you guys actually sit and listen to me talk for two hours every single week. It's, uh, it blows my mind. But thank you, thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. All right, so let's uh, let's end the lesson. I'll give you the spiel. I'll do the movie quote, and uh, and uh, and I'll fly away. Ah, oh, you guys are welcome. You guys are welcome. Every I tell you every week, you really don't need to say thank you to me. It's my 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 pleasure. I uh, I like doing this a lot because of you guys. So th thank you uh, so much. All right, so please remember, uh, am, I, am I on the correct screen? Yes, I'm on the correct screen. Let me just close this. Oh, great, I'm very happy, Mahmoud. Mahmoud says he learned a lot. That is music to my ears. This is, uh, this is why I do this. I just want you guys to learn. All right, so what is wrong with this? Go away, there we go, okay. So please remember, guys, if you haven't done so already, watch us where you're watching us right now. If you have friends, family, people that you think are cool, only cool people of the Smart Channel, please. No, uh, nobody, uh, nobody who's not cool enough. So cool people, that means just anybody that you think is a friend or family member or anybody that can benefit from this, right? So please tell them about Smart English, share our videos, share our links, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button, super excited that we finally broke 100,000 subscribers, and go bug Julian and tell him to, 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 to give me the silver button as soon as it comes so I can share it with you guys. Because you guys deserve to see the button as much as anybody because we couldn't have gotten it without you. So thank you so, so much for that. Also, don't forget, you can easily find my personal channel here. So click on my face at the very bottom of the Smart page and it will take you to Smart English with Kareem. You can see shorter videos that I make over there. Um, some of them are pertaining or some of them are related to English and some of them I just sort of show you Vancouver when I can and when it's not raining because, uh, because my phone is broken all over the place so I, I'm scared of getting my phone out in the rain because it has cracks all over it and I don't want water to go inside. Um, yes, see, yeah, I know you guys want to see the silver button. I want to see it, so, and, and I want to share it with you. So uh, I'm just waiting for it. Um, no, I don't. I don't look bluish like I did last week's summer. I fixed the color thing, and I wrote it. Where is it? Uh, I wrote it down so, uh, so I don't forget how to fix it if it happens again. Um, <laughs> all right. Also, I also have the Food AF channel. Please check it out. It would, uh, it would make my day, make me very happy if you come and uh, join my food tribe. Um, so this is my personal channel. I don't do English lessons, but I talk in English so you can practice listening and hopefully you can learn how to cook some interesting dishes that, uh, that I make. Um, so please come join me over there. Subscribe, bell, you know, the usual stuff. Do your thing. 
On Facebook, our group is called Learn English on Facebook with Smart. Learn English on Facebook with Smart. I highly recommend that you join the group over there. It's really cool, it's very active. A lot of people talk every day. They ask questions. So some of you were asking me some questions that are not related to the lesson. So this is a good place for you guys to go and put your questions over there. If I'm not free, there's a million other people that will answer the questions. And because there's so many of them, um, you'll usually get a correct answer because a lot of people check what everybody else is answering, right? So it's a good place to sort of um, go and grow with the community. Same thing with Discord and same thing again because some of you came to the lesson late today, so I'll share with you the link for Discord. So this is Discord and as you can see, this is a picture that Julian shared from his, uh, from his birthday. So Discord is really, really cool. You guys can come over there. You can join. Uh, it's free. And basically, it's a place for the smart family to have fun, to talk with each other, share stuff, chat. You can chat by typing. You can chat uh, in here using your voice. So all of these are audio channels or rooms that we've created with different topics. So please come and join, make friends, and practice your English over there. Um, and I think that that is pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to say. Uh, oh, Rosa, you're breaking my heart. Thank you so much. You're so kind, Rosa. That is, uh, that is really, really nice of you to say. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, when are you planning to release new food videos? I know, Stefan, I know, I know, I know, I know. I actually recorded, like I have two episodes that I recorded. The problem is editing. I don't have time. I, I, I'm at school every day from 8.30 in the morning and some days, I'm here until nine, so I just I just don't have time. That's that's my main problem because I started doing a lot more stuff this semester in college. I'm teaching a lot more college classes than uh, than I normally did, so um, that's that's my problem at the moment. I'm trying I'm trying to get into a fixed schedule, but my week is insane. So um, I'm really trying my best with the with the food videos. Um, but at least there are about how many videos that I have up? I think I had 50 something videos or something like that. Something like that. I can't remember how many videos I had in total. Um, but I, I have a few videos, you guys. It's, 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 it's enough to have fun <laughs> until, until I get time to edit. And then, uh, and then I'll put uh, some more videos up. All right, so let's, uh, let's do it. Let's end today's lesson. What time is there? If you're asking about where I am, Canal, the time over here is 4.52 now, right? So this is Vancouver, 4.52 p.m. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. All right, so let's do movie quote of the week. So uh, where is, oh no, I think Arij, uh, I think Arij left, or is Arij still there? Because Arij, uh, Arij is the person, Arij always made fun of me, because I always gave you guys old movies. So I just wanted to tell her that this week, uh, this week is going to be, well, uh, it's a bit of a recent-ish movie. And uh, so you guys uh, hopefully will get it quick. But I'll be very impressed, very, very impressed if, uh, if someone here today is quicker than lightning fingertips summer. It's impossible to beat Summer. I don't know how she does it, but man, she's fast. <laughs> All right, so here's uh, here's movie quote of the week this week. So I'll say the quote off screen, and then I'll put it on the screen for you guys to see for a few seconds before I take it off again. And uh, <clears throat> and here it goes. Okay, so there's. There's going to be two people talking in, in this scene. So one of them is talking about the other person. And uh, he says something about the other person. And then the other person basically responds. Okay, He responds to the comment that was said about him or her. I'm not giving you any clues. It could be her. I didn't say it's a him or her. So, uh, so here we go. Okay, You guys ready? Here we go. <clears throat> his people are completely literal. Metaphors go over his head. 
Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. <laughs> okay, so one more time. His people are completely, uh, are completely literal. Metaphors go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. And that's it. This is the movie quote for this week, right? So I'll put it up. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen for a few seconds. You guys can take a look at it. Here it is. Da, 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 da. Boom. And that's it. I'm starting to make it harder for you guys because when I keep it up there for too long, you guys go and find the answer before I, uh, before I end the video. <laughs> so that's it. All right, so let's see what you guys are saying. Da, 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 silver, but yes, I know I'm going to get the silver button. Um, give us a quote from the Brave series, and I'll answer it next week. I don't know what the Brave series is, Arij. Oh my God, is that something that shows my age? <laughs> um, I'm not sure what series that is, but I'll, 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 I'll check it out. Rosa, you are super welcome. Very, very welcome, Rosa. It's my, my pleasure. Um, and yeah, you guys are just, you guys are welcome. You guys are all very, very welcome. It's my, my pleasure. Okay, so I think, uh, I think that's it. So let's, uh, let's, let's go big. Let's go big. There we go. I am normal size again. All right, so, um, Thank you, everybody, again for coming to this. Uh, this uh, oh man, summer already. Summer is already in the chat saying, "I know it." You gotta be careful, guys. Lightning speed here, or there's no chance for you, right? There's if you're not fast, you're not uh, you're not gonna beat summer this week. I'll, I'll be super shocked if somebody beats summer. But anyway, thank you so 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 much for coming uh, for coming to my classes every Wednesday. Um, I'll see you next Wednesday at the same time so remember every wednesday at 3 p.m vancouver time is uh is the time usually that my classes uh, are at so uh, <laughs> oh man some of you are already giving up in the chat because someone thinks she knows the movie uh, oh you're welcome Hasadeh. and that's it so every wednesday i'll see you next wednesday at 3 p.m same time uh, today is Valentine's Day again, so happy Valentine's to everybody out there. I hope you have a, uh, a good day um, with whoever your Valentine is. And if you are single, just remember you are saving a lot of money that usually goes on a lot of wasted things. So it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Thank you so much. And until I see you, as I usually say, a good morning, good evening, and good night.